Welcome to our devos where we're talking about how private resolutions bring public results. And the private things, the private decisions, the private hills that we choose to die on, that we make a dedication before the Lord, often bring the greatest results publicly to those that see our faith and know that it's real. Now, when I talk about goals and when we talk about convictions and things, a lot of times when you hear, well, you're keeping it private, well, that means that you are afraid of it. Well, not exactly. You're not afraid of it. But this is one of the things that having private resolutions that you keep to a small circle that you share with a handful of people, why that might be helpful to you is because, and this might shock some of you, but I hope it doesn't shock you too much, you can't expect others to endorse your resolutions. Now, I know that's a shocker. Some of you, you have come up in a home where your parents have endorsed everything that you've done. Oh, you want to do this for a career? That's amazing. You made the decision. And you get that little dopamine hit that you have made a decision. And then you don't follow through because you really, really got the, uh, the, the rush of telling people what you're going to do right off the bat. And just that gratification of communicating that was all that you needed. Okay, well, keep in mind that's not how the real world works. In reality, most of the time, and I'm not telling you anything new, I hope, most people are not going to be excited for you to succeed at the things that you're going for. I know. Now, I will tell you to limit your exposure to those people. I will tell you to surround yourself with people that do endorse and love you. But I will also tell you that you shouldn't expect every single person to put a t-shirt on with your face on it and walk around excited that you have adopted a new conviction or a new resolution. That's just not the case. We see the same thing as the case with Daniel. Daniel communicates to the chief, the person that he's responsible to, about this desire for him not to eat the king's food. He's going to go on this diet. He's in Babylonian captivity. He has to do what he's told. And he asks permission, look, can I do something different? It says in verse 10, and we covered this yesterday a little bit, the chief of the eunuchs said to Daniel, I fear my Lord, the king who assigned your food and your drink for why should he see that you were in worse condition than the youths of you who are your own age? So you would endanger my head with the king. This eunuch, this leader He's not thinking of Daniel. Who's he thinking of? He's thinking of himself. What happens when you tell somebody something you're going to do? Oh, I'm going to start going on a diet. I'm going to go on a, you know, I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to start to really try to get better about my finances. Everyone else is thinking, oh, I should probably get better on my own finances. Now, if they're secure in themselves, they'll say, oh man, that's really motivating to me. I really should probably do the same thing. And they'll say that out loud. But what they normally say is, yeah, good luck. You're going to be in a big bind. You're probably going to not be able to do this. It's going to be like every other goal. And they down talk it because of their own insecurity, because they themselves can't imagine doing what your resolution is. If you tell someone, hey, look, um, you know, me and my fiance, me and my girlfriend, me and my boyfriend, we decided that we're going to stop sleeping together because we want to get married. We want to be pure. They're going to go, good luck with that. It's 2023. What are you living in the stone ages? You know, what is this 1950? Where's the Brady Bunch, right? And they are projecting onto you the struggles that they have themselves. And they are jealous, might I say, or even insecure about the fact that you have a resolution that God has put on your heart and that you're acting on it. You can't expect people to jump up and down whenever you make a resolution. And I would encourage you not to because that's not what God wants us to do necessarily. God wants us to make that pledge before him. God wants us to fix that position in the ground and he wants us to be confident in him so that when that thing comes to pass, when we do succeed at that thing, when we do succeed at that vision, when we do overcome that sin, when we do overcome that struggle that we're dealing with at work, then he will receive the glory and people will notice and give him glory and not you. So keep your resolutions private. Don't expect people to jump up and down and God will reward you openly.